Hey guys, what is up? The NeoCubist here. Welcome to episode 73 of my Minecraft Survival Let's Play. So recently we've been trapped underground thanks to a solar flare, uh, but we've been doing quite nicely. We've actually been kind of prospering under here. Um, I'm kind of in my element. I really do like building underground, and we're doing a little mini-series inside of a bigger series underground. So thanks for joining us, and I uh, hope you guys enjoy the video. But yeah. We're at a pretty good point here. We have a good bit of oak wood growing now. Thankfully, I just decided to give up on the spacing and I kind of just filled it all in with oak saplings and I'm kind of just hoping for the best. We can see we just got a tree there. They kind of grow at random, but you know what? That's just how saplings do you. Uh, but we're doing pretty good. We have a good bit of resources. Unfortunately, our uh, saplings are growing quite slowly, but I want to go look for some skeletons so that we can get some. Actually, you know what? With three and a half hearts, I don't think we're going to go look for skeletons. <laughs> it, it's a bit of an overzealous goal for the position that we are in. Maybe if we get some armor, we can consider that, but we don't really have a whole ton of stuff. This is all the stuff I was given to start with. Uh, we also have a book called What Happened, which is very helpful. Looks like you're stuck, lol. So, you know, extremely helpful information in there. But we have some cow spawn eggs, some pig, sheep, villagers, chickens. We even have some bees so that we can get some bees started in here. Um, and we don't really have any trees or any flowers, so we can't do that just quite yet. But we can also grow all the other wood types and make this place look really nice. Uh, but as you can see, I'm slowly but surely making this place look nicer and nicer as time goes on. Um, the next pillar is going to be right here, which I'll have to remove this for. Um, yeah, it'll be okay. Either way, it's not a big deal. Uh, I think I'm going to put the torches, though. Oh, we got another. See? If we just stay here and talk, look, the trees just grow. Uh, but I'm going to go do a little bit of mining now because... We're always going to be needing to do mining. Mining is... Oh, another tree grew. Look at that. Hopefully when we come back from our little mining escapade, this thing is just packed full of trees. Um, it's kind of annoying, but you know what? Eventually we'll make a proper tree farm and not just have it in the middle of our house. Or what turned out to be our house, which I never intended that to be our house. But for some reason, uh, we just started going for it and look, look where we ended up. Okay, so this needs to be filled in with slabs like this. And then we'll just future proof expand it a little bit. Oh, we can't all the way. Let's just put this stuff up then. Actually, we can. I'm just getting lazy and I don't want to do it. We're going to do it anyways. You know what? We're going to build willpower. There we go. Now, <laughs> I just built so much willpower doing that. Can you tell? Okay, we'll put this in here. Okay, all we need is our torches. But we might need another pickaxe, so we'll just proactively create one of those. I'm going to make iron armor. Um, I think that's a, maybe a little resource intensive for the beginning of our little mini world here but you know what I think it's appropriate to get a full set of armor there we go nice and beautiful Steve look at you I guess it's not Steve it's it's Neo technically but whatever still Steve in my brain alright let's go get some stuff so we don't have much hearts so if we die we don't have many hearts sorry my improper English there was scaring me too but if we get hit by pretty much anything we're dead so that's not great but Hopefully we don't get hit by anything. Um, so there is a mine shaft over there. That's where I don't want to go. I'm going to try to stick to the open areas of my world where hopefully I'll be a tad bit safer. I guess we'll just kind of figure that out for ourselves, won't we? Okay. Off the bat. Make sure there's nothing behind me. That's what I need to worry about the most because I always die from creepers walking up behind me. But then again, maybe that's like the most common way to die in Minecraft. I don't know. Let me know in the comments. So how, how do you die the most in Minecraft, would you say? Is it from creepers? Is it from cows? And if it's from cows, I need an explanation because I'm kind of confused, as I think most people reading that comment would be. But yeah, let me know how you die the most often in Minecraft. I'd love to hear uh, all your feedback in the comments because I'm curious. Mostly, for me, I think it's definitely creepers from behind. Uh, you don't have to type out a huge comment, especially if you're not the type of person to comment. But... Uh, like whatever comments you see that you know or maybe your way if you don't want to say anything let's just let's get a poll we're going to figure out the most common way that people die in minecraft oh god unofficially of course okay good i thought i was about to lose uh, oh okay all righty all righty you know what it's our third episode of being stuck underground but you know what during a solar flare i'm very happy to find diamonds that's actually i'm glad i chose the open part of my little cave area Oh, that's six, too. Okay, well, we can make a pickaxe already. That's that's nice. That's real nice, actually. 
especially when we don't have any iron. We only have like probably 12, 13 iron, so you know what, to have a little bit of diamonds from the beginning is not a bad thing at all. Um, ooh, that's one thing I do need to get started is my sugar cane. And why I haven't started it, I don't know. Um, I want to try to use more bows, but I can't even craft one, so maybe I shouldn't. Um, fishing is another thing we can do. Although, oh god, why am I doing things like this? I saw this area and it interested me because I was like, oh, it's near lava. I didn't even bring my bucket, first of all. Second of all, I now have three hearts of health. <laughs> oh, man. I gotta, I gotta get away from the lava. I already know what's gonna end up happening here. I'm gonna get my first diamonds under here and just lose them all. I really don't want that to happen. We're gonna go right back up and put these up because I don't want to lose these. Out of everything I've gathered so far underground, six diamonds has been the most valuable by far. I also shouldn't sprint. Oh no. See? The world's already like, ooh, there's some nice diamonds you got there. It'd be a shame if someone were to kill them and take them. Oh, dude. This world hates me. It just dropped a creeper on my head. Luckily, it didn't see that, that it was too far of a drop for it to survive, but nonetheless, it's still kind of messed up. I'm talking about the world trying to kill me and it drops a creeper on my head. Now, how ironic is that? I don't know. Uh, but, you know what? That's a large amount of irony, for sure. Okay, I'm going to sprint back, even though I only have this much. I should stop. I want to sprint just because I'm, well, I'm a little impatient. But also because I, well, no, I think it's just because I'm impatient. Let's get this. So I don't have a door, like, going in and out of that mine shaft area. So I should probably implement some sort of door there. And now that I think about it, I can move this whole charade a little bit back. It's not a big deal at all. But I think I should have a door. That's, yeah, that's kind of silly that I don't have a door. Okay, uh, let's fill this in first of all because that's, that is worrying me. I keep thinking about ways I can die now. And I feel like that's going to be a very common death is just, you know, you're in your home. You think you're safe. You're not safe. Oh no, what's that? A creeper? It's right behind you. Boom. And you lose all your items. I'm going to put these in a chest. Uh, not that one. This one. Okay. Uh, I'm trying to think about how I want to do a door. I think like this to make it as to make it as fancy as possible. We'll do it like this. And then I don't want to have an oak wood floor in there. I think I want to do maybe some polished diorite. Is that not how you make it? No, like that. You'd think I'd know these things. There we go. So we'll do a polished diorite floor in here, at least for right now. We can always change it up in the future if people are like, Neo, that's ugly. I think for a floor material, it's a beautiful one. Okay, so we'll put a door right there. And then how do we want to do these? Uh, that's actually okay if it's open. I think maybe some fence would fit nicely there. Let's see. We got 18 fence, so we can... Boom. Boom. But maybe not up there. Up there, I think we should be connected. Nah. <laughs> nah. See, that just looks kind of odd. Yeah. All right, well, sorry sorry about your stairs, but we got to fill you in, buddy. Oh, I'm so sorry. Okay. And then maybe... Well, maybe a fence above it would look better. I usually do that on the entrance to a house. Uh, Yeah, okay. That's a little better. A little more secure as well, so I'm kind of happy with that. Anyways, we need to get some more chests built. And since we finally have a little bit of wood, I'm going to take every wood item out of here. And we're going to actually properly do uh, chest sorting from the beginning. I'm not trying to get in the position I'm in every other time I play Minecraft where my chests are just a utter disaster. I don't want to be there. Um, looks like we already have an oversupply, but we're going to do a wood chest off the bat. Because I feel like that's an extremely helpful, extremely helpful thing. We're also going to do a rare chest. So anything somewhat rare, buckets, water, lapis... Melon seeds, gold, that's rare. Rare in the, in the, I got, we only have four chests, so what rare things go in here are probably going to be what's different from your rare chest, but I consider all these things to be rare. I mean, we're not above ground, so you can't get a whole ton of any of this stuff. Um, I guess those are rare. That's rare for sure. Flint is rare. Everything else we can just throw in here. Okay, let me finish a little bit more of the floor in here because I started it, but I didn't really get too far. Only a couple of blocks. Ooh, and that's one thing I do need to do. I need this back. I need my button back. I'd like a refund on my button. Um, where'd my extra logs go? Oh, well, you know what? We can get some extra logs right now. Oh, wow, two. 
two trees right next to each other. That's kind of weird, but you know what? I'll take it. I needed... Oh, and another tree, right? As I needed more trees. Thank you guys so much. See, look, the trees are very generous. When you say you need wood, they're like, oh, you need wood? Okay, I guess I'll grow. I don't know if that's a tree grow noise. Let's just pretend that never happens. Sometimes I do things and I'm like, nah, I shouldn't have done that. But you know what? We can't really prevent it or make it go away. Ah, see, I like that a lot better. It's open, but it's not weird. All right, anyways... Uh, we need to plan a place, so did I get? Nope. We're going to break a path through the Great Tree Divide. We're going to get the rails, and we're going to get the powered rail and the extra rails I got. So we can go in there and farm the rails pretty easily. It's not really that hard. Uh, we'll put this back here. We'll put the slab back on it, and then we'll put a button on her. Oh. Not on the ceiling, though. Uh, I'm going to break out all this, too. I feel like this ceiling needs to be a little bit higher in here. Because it already was because of the giant coal pocket we found the first episode of this little mini-series. So if you're trying to start this in the beginning, it started in episode 71. Um, it's, it's kind of a, like a defi definitive thumbnail, at least I have it in my head. The first three episodes have all been pre-recorded. So I don't know like when uh, when I make the thumbnail. It might may look different. I don't know. But it should look good either way. All right, so now I think this will work. You hop in, you push the button, yes, and you go. Okay, I don't need you anymore. Can you please, thank you. We'll put that right there. So now we have an actual minecart system off the bat. That's pretty good. Haven't had that in a world before, uh, but now I need to expand this out a little, ju just a little bit, at least for this part of the room. I realize now that it's kind of futile that I placed that. Mm, let me finish this. All right, there we go. Perfect. And then it can just ride off into the sunset. Let me, let me fix that, though. So we'll go get some more rail at some point. Um, we'll also make this room look appropriately sized. But for now, we need to finish the actual main room of our house. Uh, hopefully, no, not quite enough logs yet. But we're getting, oh, maybe, oh, there's two trees. Heck yeah. So I'm really liking having a line of trees. That's definitely very helpful. It's a little annoying. Um, oh, we have a full. Can we get, yes, we got two seeds. Look at this, guys. Now we have three possible plants to give us, I think, is that full grown? I think so. Oh, yes, we got three seeds from that. Nice. Okay. Um, I don't know. Can you roast a beet? We're going to throw it in here. We should ask Dwight. Can you roast a beet? Nope, you can't roast a beet. Uh, but at least you can... Well, you could roast a beet. I guess if it was, you know, made by designer or something. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't know any beet makers. I don't know. Designer actually makes good beets. I don't know. Does he? I have no idea. I just, I'm trying to think of a producer who makes beats. Murda Beats is really good. He does a lot of big, big rap names in the industry. But yeah, I was saying, can you roast a beat? Yeah, you could, you know, say like, oh, that beat sucks. And you're like, oh, man, I thought it was a good beat. I made it in FL Studio. And you're like, ah, oh, man, it sucks. You're probably like, what are you talking about, dude? Don't ask me. Sometimes I just say things. I don't know what I'm talking about. Okay, so we put some oak saplings. Do we have any missing from the line? Nope. Um, we do have a newfound... Quite a large amount. Oh, well, I put those furnaces there, I guess, in vain. We can't really can't do much with them. We gotta move them. We'll put the crafting table back. We'll just put it under this one. We'll find a new spot for some more furnaces. Um, but they just can't go right here. We can fill that in with whatever. Won't even be able to see it. Okay, and then break that torch. And then, and then, eh, perfect. And then, and then, then we're gonna eh, place one up there and there. Perfect. All right, and then we'll do the same over there. If I can... Oh, well, it's kind of a challenge shot, but I can get it. And then, wow, there is... Okay, so the oak logs in here was maybe not a great idea. Because now all the oak leaves have to be broken by hand every time. Because they think that's a tree. <sighs> okay, well, we need to get a proper tree farm started. Because this is no longer going to work. This... Yeah. That, that, that was a bad idea. Okay, let me fix my mistake and break all these leaves. All right, well, I'm extremely thankful that we found that diamond pocket because now we can dig out a pretty big tree area uh, with not as much time spent as uh, would drive someone insane because usually when you have to dig out such a big area, it takes quite a while um, and really just kind of, it just kind of sucks. So it's good that we have this. Let's put everything in the wood chest that goes in the wood chest and then the rare chest. You know what? Am I, oh, actually, we can put the minecart back where it belongs right there. And then what can we do over here and here? Put up all this stuff. Not that though. 
Uh, yeah. And then this is rare. So we have enough for one piece of bread, which I think we're going to make because we are just running almost full on food somehow from apples, I think. Ah, yes. Look at that. Finally enough to regen all of our health. I'm not going to move just so that I can regen it all. All right, you know what? Close enough. All right, so I want to do a tree farm. Um, I want to make it look good. I think we're going to go upwards a little bit. We're going to just... Mm, I'm trying to think about how I want to do a staircase. Maybe like this, and then it goes up, and then it goes in over here. Yeah, something like that's perfect. Uh, we just need to get some more, some more wood, which is in here. Throw this bad boy down. And then grab some slabs, which I think we don't really have any of, actually. So just disregard that statement. Put these over here. We'll just make the staircase a little bit thicker so it looks better. And then, yeah. So I'll just go over here and uh, make this area. I don't know how high. How, how high is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. So we need to make it seven blocks high. Uh, I'll do that over here. Uh, but this is just going to be the entrance to our tree farm. Okay, something like that, and then of course we're going to make this look good at some point, but now we're going to make a big, big, giant room. I think I actually want this to be three blocks wide. I think that would be better. Or maybe we should just make this the room right here, and just expand upwards from, from over here. And then we could do another, no, we, don't, we can't do oak logs in the corner again. That's a negatory from me. Well, you know what, for now we'll just fill this back in. Uh, we'll just call it a 3x3 three three for now. Maybe we'll dig this out just so you have a little bit of like a, a walkway or something. I'm kind of envisioning this all in my head. And then this will be the entrance. Look at this. This diamond pickaxe is making this so much easier. Okay, so I'm going to make this little 3x3 three three tunnel for like a few more blocks. I think just to the end where I dug it. And then all we're going to do is from there, build the big old room. It's going to take quite a while. I'm not going to time lapse it. I'm not going to film it. I'm just going to dig it out. Uh, it will take quite a bit, but yeah, um, I'm gonna dig it at the end of this room So we'll start right here go up seven blocks. Nice. See you guys when it's done All right Well, I started digging this thing out and like yeah, I'm gonna probably have a tree farm in here But for right now, I think there may be an easier solution that maybe I've been ignoring because I haven't been thinking outside the box First of all, I think these beets are grown nice so the beets do grow and spread pretty quickly, but they don't really give you a whole ton. Maybe when you make beetroot soup. I know I'm supposed to make beetroot soup, but for some reason I really haven't been. Okay, we'll just throw those in the rare chest for now. No, we're not going to throw them in the rare chest. We have 56. We started with one oak sapling, so I'm kind of proud of myself. I actually need those. And uh, surprisingly, I need some dirt. So I think you guys may have an idea of what I'm going to be doing, but I have a really cool solution, I think, to our problem for right now. We don't have to do this forever, um, but maybe adding some trees into something like this would work just fine. So I don't know like if, if a tree will even grow right here, but we'll just we'll put down two saplings and find out for ourselves. Uh, maybe a tree will grow right here, too. We can put a sapling down. Maybe it'll, Maybe it will. Maybe it won't. Uh, maybe that lava would destroy it, probably. Oh, that was almost bad. Maybe that lava would have destroyed it, probably. Uh, maybe one will grow right here. Uh, but either way, I think we can actually get a pretty good amount of trees grown, just like right here. I don't know which of these will grow, but that's why I'm just kind of shotgun placing them to see which ones do indeed grow. I do know that, like, maybe a row of trees right there would grow. Um, kind of looks weird without any support, so we're going to put some support in there. Just so that it doesn't look too odd. Uh, oh, well, that was almost kind of bad. I guess not really. Wouldn't have been the worst thing in the world. Um, and then maybe we'll put like a few stairs here or something. We don't need it to be super fancy, but just somewhere for some things to grow might be kind of helpful. Potentially. Um, oh, I was going to say we're out of wood, but look. Look what we're next to. Let's be resourceful and actually grab the fences that we need. Um, we can also start to eventually mine the actual minecart tracks there and make our own minecart from what was once a beautiful abandoned mineshaft. Um, hence the name abandoned. I don't think anyone's using it, so I think it's okay if we take a few things from it. I don't know if anyone will be angry. Maybe the spirits that still haunt this mineshaft are. I don't know, but I, I, I doubt they're actually haunting it. Who would want to haunt a mineshaft? First of all, no one's at it. They're never really going to be at it. It's abandoned. Um, 
So the only people you're going to be haunting are maybe some people. May well, but you don't really get to choose where you're haunting, I guess. Or do you? I don't know. Let me know. All the ghosts. Uh, if you guys could put some comments down below and tell me uh, t tell me what the answer is. All you ghosts out there, whatever, whatever wherever you may be watching YouTube, uh, let me know. I'm curious. Do you get to choose where to haunt? Okay. Anyways. <laughs> kind of funny, right? I'm a funny guy, right? No. All right. We're going to put these slabs in okay so i don't know if these will grow or no 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 see i actually whipped around that was good <laughs> that's like ingrained in my brain now forever like when you hear a creeper hissing you gotta run also memorizing the amounts of hits it takes for various weapons that's the best skill you can have in minecraft so like i know it, an iron sword takes four good hits to kill um so if you just kind of play off of that knowledge you can actually really help yourself like a whole ton okay so where's like the middle and one more over right no there's no middle to this thing this is as middle as it gets also this guy you're gonna have to you're gonna have to disappear i, I can't i can't deal with you anymore uh, see i don't know which of these will grow so i'll just put a bunch here uh, but hopefully this works. If it doesn't, you know what? We didn't waste too many resources or too much time, so I'm really not a whole lot concerned with that. I know it's getting kind of dark. Hold on. All the torches in my hands are gone. Uh, we just need to worry because if things spawn up here and then they, they fall onto us, it wouldn't be great. So I'm going to try and uh, prevent that as much as I can. Um, any other dark spots where I know a mob could spawn? I don't think so. Aside from like over here, which will light this up. Eventually this whole thing will be lit up. It'll be all nice and beautiful. But for right now, we're just going to stick to our guns and light up what we know can affect us. At least to my knowledge. Okay, so let me gather a bunch of wood because I don't want to wait on trees to grow. And currently we don't have any. I guess we do have some growing at the beginning of the ravine. Uh, I don't think any of them grew. But yeah, let me get a little bit of wood. I think that's one thing I'm going to run back and craft now is a diamond axe. I think out of everything we have and can make with those diamonds. Okay, I'm going to do it anyways. I really feel like a diamond axe is going to help us the most. So let's run back here and not look at the enderman. Don't look at him. He's having a bad day. He's not in a good mood. So do not look at the enderman. And let's see. Did any trees grow? None of these clusters grew. Uh, these guys didn't grow. Or I guess that guy didn't grow. That one didn't grow. I don't think we're going to see a whole lot of growth in here. Uh, but we can at least try, I guess, to get some trees going. It's going to be helpful because as I transition into having an actual tree farm, I'd like to still have wood to do little periodic upgrades. Because when I say I want to do a tree farm, I kind of want to go big off the bat. Uh, okay, this has grown too. I'm, I'm trying to be good about checking everything as often as I can because we really do need food. Um, when we Like, we have two cows, uh, but only one piece of wheat. So, doing that off the bat seems kind of silly as well. I don't know. Just my thoughts on the whole thing. Luckily, we can get wood pretty quickly, especially once we get a diamond axe. That's going to be very helpful. Alright, let me meet you guys back there. I would take this, but, well, it ends right there. We have growth. Uh, at least one at least one tree. Wow, this stuff is very dimly lit. There are some areas here I know stuff is going to spawn. I have this on bright just because, you know, it's going to be on YouTube and people need to be able to see. But even on bright, I'm missing some obviously dark spots. If I put this on... Oh, I thought I heard it. I know, I'm in the mine shaft. <laughs> it's giving me a mine shaft sound. Um, when... Ironically, I'm standing in the mine shaft it's warning me about. Or is it a warning or is it like a, hey, there's a mine shaft here? I don't know. Um, but this is what I'm going to do. This is kind of my plan. I just want to fill this in like that. And then we will just plant a big row of trees here. I know these will grow, at least most of them. Um, so that'll actually be something pretty fun uh, to look forward to, I guess. Actually, looks like we're almost, almost done. We can get a bunch of wood right here long as there's no... Oh, that's why I didn't go over here. Okay, can we do it? We make a pro play here. Okay. See, if we choose to attack one, there's a chance more will spawn. Break it. Oh, yes. We actually got that. And the poison's not as bad as I thought either. Okay. And there's a big, big area of spider silk to gather. So we can get some wool going. And then I think I just heard one. 
I'm trying to be very careful because I really don't want to die. Uh, I don't see anything else. At least in the general vicinity. Well, well that would have been nice to have near my home. I could have done a tr tree, tree spawner, tree farm, whatever you want to call it in that. But nope, we didn't get one of those. Okay, well I'm going to farm all this silk and all this wood. And then I'll meet you guys when I'm finishing that tree platform. Alright, I know I said I'd meet you guys, but let's see how fast this thing is. Because we've only had iron so far. Nice. Well, it feels, it feels good to be back in the Diamond Leagues, but I don't think we're going to stay here too long. We don't really have that many diamonds. In fact, all of the diamonds we did have are gone. So, unless we find more here pretty soon, which I don't have a proper mine, which I will build. Um, we do have all these caves, so it'd be I guess it would be somewhat silly to build a mine when you have like these mine shafts right next to you. But, I don't know, part of me still wants to have like something dedicated to being a mine. And there are a lot of spiders near me. I assume cave spiders, but I don't know where from. I hope they're not cave spiders, actually. I shouldn't have said that. Okay, well, I'm going to run away. They can't get me anyways, because I'm scared and I'm running. Uh, okay, so yeah, we can finish this platform. We don't need to go all the way to the edge. We can just kind of end it right here. And then I can fill this in with some planks that we got. Let's just go ahead. Oh, see, this is what I was worried about. There's an Enderman up here, which that's okay, I guess. I'm not too worried about him. He will only attack me if I'm dumb and do something stupid to upset him. I'm going to try my best to just look the other way. It's because they look so weird. And when you look at them, they're like, hey, you making fun of me, bro? And then you're like, no. And then they're like, oh, yeah, I bet you are. And they just try to fist fight you. So you got to run from those guys. Um, it's not that we're making fun of you, Enderman. It's just... Sometimes we want your pearls, but other times you're just annoying. Like right now, I don't want your ender pearls. You're just annoying. Okay, looks like we got everything. Uh, we can put some sort of fence right here since we actually got um, a good bit of it from the mine shaft. Oh, nice. I, also, I just hear an immense amount of mobs, like just right here. And part of me really hopes they cannot get to this area. Uh, but if they can, I hope they do it soon so that I can actually get... It all covered up. Where are they? Where are they, dude? They're somewhere really close. No, I think they're down. I just need to fill this in because I really don't. Yeah, they're going to be down here. No? Are they above me? Oh, man. This is the part of caves that I kind of get upset about because I can never tell. Are you up here? I'm trying to listen. No, I think they're... I think they're down here. Maybe they're down here. Ooh. Okay. Oh, man. I gotta be really careful. I, oh, oh, okay, okay. Oh, my God. No, 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 no. Did you see how many things? How did I just escape that? How did I just escape that? Oh, my God. Okay. Holy crap. That just made my heart stop. How did I die? How did I die? How did I die from a zombie? Oh, no. Okay, we gotta get back there. Do I have a sword? Do I have an extra sword? Please, something. Something to help me. Oh, we're gonna take the minecart. We're gonna do it quick. Oh, that's not quick. <laughs> that's the slowest minecart I've ever felt, ever. Uh, okay, we need a torch at least. Just one torch. No, that's a bad one to grab. Uh, where's a good one? Do I have any extras that are really close to by? Yeah, like that one? Maybe. I don't know. I think I'm taking the wrong torches here. Oh, that's great. All of our trees grew. That's awesome. I really need my stuff. I have a diamond pick, which I foolishly am carrying everywhere with me. Okay, so I I boop down here. I ran. I ran. I ran. And they, everything chased me. I don't even understand how I died. That's the confusing part for me. Oh my god. We got a whole army. And I'm caught in a web. I'm caught in a web. I'm caught in a web. Oh, thank God the creeper doesn't see me. Please, please, sir, let go. How did something even get me? Was there even any way something could have gotten me? No. Only because of Minecraft's broken hitboxes did I die. I was inside of this thing. How could have something hit me in here? Oh, that's kind of... That's kind of grimy and slimy. That sucks. All right, well, let me put my armor back on. I can't eat... I was going to say, let me eat and regen my health, but... 
<laughs> you don't have any way to do that, man. Okay. All right. Okay. Well, we got three hearts of health and a whole, a whole lot of... Okay, that's why. Okay. Luckily, you guys are dumb as heck. Okay, that guy's not. Oh, no. The, and the, oh, no, 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 no. God, why am I... Why is it lagging? Please do not kill me again. Oh, no. Please let me get back. God, I have no health. <sighs> Creeper's just like, what's up, bro? <laughs> you want to come out and say hi? No, I really don't. Please. Please, dear God, please don't. Okay, hold on. I can do this slowly. I can do this slowly. We have a half heart of health. If anything even touches us, if anything looks at us the wrong way, we are toast. Okay, we just got to do this very slowly. Don't, you don't see me. You do not see me. I'm going to slip right by you and all your defenses. Okay, we're going to run for it. Oh, no, we're going to run for it. Where did we, where did we fall? Is it right here? Is this it? No. What is this? Oh, we're trapped under us. Okay, we're trapped under that part that we built over. Uh, let me get out. I thought I saw a creeper. We're just, you know, we're, we're, we're just running home. No, yeah, we're just running home. We don't have any health. I can't do anything. I can't. I was going to say, let's finish that real quick because we just started it. Oh, we got a tree parkour, unfortunately. Oh, that was, that was a retrieval. <laughs> that was exciting. Jeez, please leave a like for that. Can you believe I just did that? I can't. I totally thought I was going to die like seven times trying to get my stuff and rage quit, but nope. <sighs> that feels good. Wow. Finally feels like after a year of playing this game again, I'm actually getting somewhat okay. Until something just totally wrecks me in like two seconds. But you know what? We're just not going to think about it. We're going to celebrate by getting one beat in our stomach. Oh, wow. That was delicious. That was just delicious. I'm debating spawning these and killing them. We have rotten flesh, actually. And we have... I gave myself a kelp. So we can grow kelp. That's actually something I want to get going pretty soon. Okay, well that provides some satiation. Is that a word? Satiation? I feel like it should be. We have hunger, though, for that many seconds. Alright, well I'm going to stand here and eat this since I don't want to move and make it go down quicker. But I'll be back once I'm hopefully a little bit more healthy. All right, I'm tired of waiting, and we only have one rotten flesh left. I guess we'll carry it with us. Let's just finish what we started, and then we can call it an episode. I think my heart has had enough Minecraft for today. Luckily, we got three videos recorded, so this will be Thursday, Friday, and this Saturday. Yeah, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. We'll get another one recorded, I think, for tomorrow. I think no Terraria this week, but maybe I'll upload it during the week or something. I'm sorry if that's what you subscribe to me for, and then I, I start it, and then I say I'm going to upload it every week, and then the, the, the second week I'm like, maybe not this week. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. But eventually, I'll get in the habit. I just really like this underground part of our world. We are already finished. Oh, I'm an idiot. Why did I even go in there? Okay, well, you know what? I'm going to do us all a favor, and we are going to... Um put it up there you know why not and make it fancy if we're gonna put it up there yeah sure you know what sure okay and let's grab a door and put that there because I don't want to I want to be able to get the back there but I don't want to you know what I mean I don't want to go in there right now at all no desire whatsoever anyways thank you guys for watching this eventful episode 73 I've been having a blast with this underground part and I hope you guys have been too um, thank you seriously so, so much for watching. The secret code of the day is going to be 5537. I know there's a zombie, so enter that code 5537 if you want to receive a heart from me. And also, also just to show that you watched the whole video, that's honestly the only reason I ask. Um, I like to see YouTube analytics does help me for the most part, but I like to see a little bit more in depth and see which users are uh, the most active, stuff like that. Um, but yes, thank you guys so much for watching. I really do hope you guys enjoyed um, there will be more of this very soon. Do not be, do not worry at all. I promise you, there will be more. Um, but for now, I bid you further ado. Thank you for watching, and I hope everyone has an awesome Saturday. Bye.